Fillet command is very very useful in the day to day drawings and in today's video I am going to take up uh, some examples and uh, explain in detail as to how you are going to go about it. So these are some of the drawings which uh, I will be uh, creating but before that let us start learning the basics of fillet ok without wasting time let's start. Fillet is a very important command. It is used in almost all the engineering drawings, civil, electrical, mechanical, automobile or in fact any drawing you pick up, you are sure to find out fillet. So you need to learn this command very well and learn how to apply it appropriately. Fillet indicates uh, the smooth finish to a corner or an edge. So let us see how to create this fillet. Fillet requires two lines running at right angles to each other. There may be situations where we are applying a fillet to two parallel lines that we will see later on but before that we need to find out how actually this fillet is applied at the corners. So we will draw a line here, uh, okay, ortho on, say about uh, 10 meters, okay, down 10. Okay, let's zoom this. Now you have a corner here. I'll type uh, fillet or type F for that matter. F. You can see at the bottom here, you have uh, four options here. In fact, five. This is undo. Let's forget that. You have polyline, radius, trim, and multiple. So, first I'll select this radius option. You can also type R to get that. So it is asking specify fillet radius. So that means you are applying a fillet here and that fillet is created out of a semicircle. And right now it is asking the radius. So the radius should not be in any case bigger than the line. So you have to be very much sure as to what should be the radius. So let me see, I will apply radius like something, uh, the argument the length 10 meters, so I will give some uh, 1 or 2, 2 I will give. Okay. Now select the first line and select the select line. See here, you got a fillet here. You can always increase or decrease the fillet radius. I'll type Ctrl Z and see if I can change the fillet radius. Okay, fillet type F radius. Okay, say 0 0.5. So this then this line and this line. See, so got a small fillet. So this is how you can apply a fillet to lines running at right angles to each other. The lines need not meet each other. They may be at a distance apart but they should be well within the radius limits. Okay, Next we will go on and test how the fillet is applied to rectangle which is created out of the line command and a rectangle which is created out of the rectangle command that is a polygon. Let me draw a rectangle first out of the line command. 10 5, 10, C for close. So this is a rectangle. Remember this is a rectangle created out of the line command. Now I will use the rectangle command REC enter. So you have a rectangle now at 10, 5. Two rectangles. I will apply fillet for this. Now first type F for fillet. You have this option here radius. Click on this radius. Okay, so 1 is okay. Enter, select the lines. You can select the lines in any way. First click here, second press enter. Yeah. Okay, now you have a filleted rectangle. 
Let me go for the fillet command once again. Type radius. Fillet. Select polyline. Click. You got a fillet rectangle in an instance. So that is the difference how you can make out. You have a rectangle created out of line command where you need to fillet the corners one by one and uh, an object created out of the polyline command or a rectangle command you can select the polyline option and fillet it at an instance the next thing what we are going to study is the option trim when you type fillet you have an option called as trim here you can see here you can type trim to activate it or you can directly click on this okay so once you click on the trim option you have uh, two more options now you have trim and no trim we'll check out what this trim is and uh, what this no trim is like now if i press enter and click on the lines here you have a neat fillet okay I'll press ctrl Z now go for fillet once again now this time trim I'll say no trim I'll click on this no trim button now you see what happens press enter 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 okay so you have uh, something which looks peculiar here you have uh, this fillet here and at the same time you have the corner here where this thing is going to be used that depends on you where you're going to use it but this option is there and uh, you know how to use it now similarly here too you have uh, fillet f go for uh, trim and right now no trim is there you can see here no trim press enter you can select the polyline and click here and you see what happened you have uh, fillet as well as the corner you can at any time remove this fillet okay just select this and press delete gone okay this is how you can uh, use the option trim option the last option in the fillet command is the multiple option usually what happens when you start filleting you have to select the corners individually one after the other by pressing enter but once you select the multiple option you can go on filleting any number of corners without going for the enter button let us see how it works fillet click on the multiple button or type m so what happens now for a given radius you can just go on clicking the corners the option is still on so that means you are uh, finishing your work at a faster rate so that is multiple button for you in this image you can see the first part where the object has been created using the line command and in the second part the object has been filleted at the ends with some radius and at the joints with some bigger radius let us see how to create this I'll use the line command 1.5 1.5 I'm just assuming some uh, length here you can practice with your own length 0 0.2 0 0.2 trim you can select the object press enter trim this one and this one and delete this lines now you have an object here for which the filleting has to be applied type fillet command radius 0.2 apply it 
the corner here you have one fillet end and here too you have one fillet I will go for fillet again radius I'll increase the radius value I'll say 0.3 fillet the corner now you have an object which looks similar to the object which you saw in the image let us go on to the next image you can see in this image you have a circle and you have small circles at the quadrants so you have to draw this the second stage you need to trim off this all the inside portions and in the third image you are going to apply the fillet let us see how to recreate this image so we have a circle here diameter 2 okay circle at the quadrants if you don't find this quadrant you can type q u a or you can go to the o snap settings and uh, select the buttons there okay so quadrant diameter give uh, one okay yeah again circle go to this quadrant here the next time when you create a circle you don't have to enter the values it will accept the values which you have previously entered just remember that so circle just press enter again enter go to the quadrant press enter go to the quadrant and press enter so once the values have been entered AutoCAD remembers that and applies it to the next time when you use the same command ok now trim this go for trim 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 select all the objects here and trim this one yeah you can trim carefully so you have the basic shape here now go for the fillet command fillet radius so you have some uh, point 0.3 radius go for point uh, 6 let us see what this point 0.6 does okay it is doing a good job yeah this command is useful for all those who have some creative mind who want to create some designs some grill work interior those people can use this option to their requirement ok see the object is ready it looks uh, similar to this object here it's like uh, a crossroad that is roads meeting at the central point the first part you have to draw the lines for some length then trim the unwanted portions in the second part and in the third part apply the fillet let us see how to create this image now draw a line of some length uh, say 5 meters ok offset 0.6 line again say uh, 5 meters ok one more off offset 0.6 ok seems to be good just move this to the center approximately you can move this here ok now trim you can use C and run the cursor over all the lines you can see that the lines are selected press enter just run the cursor over the lines and they are deleted you can select this and delete ok now you can go for the fillet command F give some radius already you have 0.6 I think that's ok hope it's not too big no it's ok apply the fillet command now you have a crossroad here so this looks perfect now let us see how to recreate this image circle so I'll give uh, diameter 1.2 smaller circles at the quadrant diameter 0.6 again one more circle diameter point, point 0.3 ok I am going to use mirror command mirror 
select this and uh, yes so this is uh, instead of creating the same thing on the left hand side I have just mirrored it okay this is the first part in the second stage what you are going to do is trim select this and trim all this stuff here see you got the basic shape now go for fillet radius you already have a radius of 0.6 I'll go and get 0.4 yes now you're getting a good shape here you can always use the multiple option if you want to finish the job fast okay see there you have this shape you see this image here this looks like uh, the crank bar which is used in the RCC work and this is very much important uh, when you are creating structural drawings it's very simple let us see how to create this let me draw a line of uh, some length 7 take an offset of say 0 0.3 okay yeah it looks fine just type F no need to give any radius just select both the li lines here okay and delete the central portion you got a hook here you see it's so easy so with this uh, we have covered up uh, almost all the aspects regarding the fillet command Hope you have understood this uh, topic very well. You just practice all the exercises. And if you have any doubts, if you have any uh, queries or comments to make, uh, just uh, enter your comments in the comment box. And don't forget to observe the description box where you have a lot of uh, links to my various videos. And if you have liked my video, just go ahead and press the like button and uh, subscribe my channel and uh, share it with your friends because more number of likes and uh, more number of subscription will encourage me to produce more and more videos thank you meet you in the next video take care bye bye